This is a short video on, well, it's hard to say. Uh, I can't say improving education because there's no college or set of high schools that are educating people anywhere in the world, probably. Uh, so I can say uh, in institutions that tell you they're educating, uh, injecting actual educating into them and getting them beyond informing, which, by the way, the Internet does a lot better than schools do. Uh, number one, uh, educating people can't be done without an image of what's a good person, what's, an, what's excellent. And uh, everybody defaults to whatever their local tradition is, often some 2,000-year-old book that worked really well to fix flaws in the Roman Empire or the Persian Empire or the... Uh, Hindu or something empire, uh, or the uh, uh, Huns empire from Genghis Khan. Uh, fixing flaws in an empire that died 2,000 years ago is a pretty excellent way to be non-excellent in uh, by following the model of excellence you use. Uh, I've talked elsewhere about my own work uh, to define the good and what's excellent by asking the most accomplished people in the world from 63 professions, 41 nations, who was best in their profession, how they got to be best there, and then interviewing those people directly, 8,000 of them. Uh, and that's produced some books by me. One of them is on the 64 capabilities of highly educated people. Are you educated? The 64 capabilities of highly educated people. Those 64 capabilities, 40 of which, when I looked at them, I didn't have at all, in spite of the fact that I had gone to a lot of famous colleges and schools. Uh, was a measure, a, a rough measure of the degree to which institutions are not doing any educating at all, just informing, and the web does informing better. Number two, uh, we ought to be able to publish readings, expert and classical readings of texts. And uh, But there's this derivative use copyright law which gets in the way of that. Uh, although what a copy is, or a derived copy, depends on repeating the exact naming and counterpoints and ordering of points that was in the original. So if the count, naming, and ordering is different and an improvement, a regularization on the original points, then it's not a derivative point. It's the same ideas better arranged and amplified. And so you can, using the, my fractal models and my regularizations, create a publishing of readings industry without violating derivative work copyright laws. And essentially, you do the work from scratch, better organized, with a better organized brain, better names, better ordering uh, than the original author achieved. Num uh, number two, uh, number three, pardon me. Um, Herbert Simon, 30, 40 years ago, and people before him, talked about uh, individual people and professions and professionals were getting to be ever narrower fractions of the overall knowledge in their own field much less among all professions. And our problems were getting huger and huger, and the things we were throwing at people and professionals and knowledge at these problems were getting more and more small, more and more narrow, more and more fractional. And perhaps that's why we're getting such large-scale disasters in the world today, that we are throwing uh, smaller and smaller dust at giant and giant boulders and mountains. Uh, we need to compre uh, educate people for comprehensiveness. In fact, comprehensiveness itself, that it can be achieved, and that there are tools for it, would be an amazement to most people, as nothing in their schools or colleges or corporations has enabled them to be in any way comprehensive. Uh, you know, there's some tiny things, like the Japanese rotate people by making them amateurs in uh, 100 functions. Uh, but somebody who's an ignoramus, uh, depending on his personal opinion, in a hundred functions because he's been assigned to each for six months uh, is ineffective everywhere and that's not really what we're talking about. That's the typical old dilettante comprehensiveness that's worthless. But we're not talking about Japanese management. That's a joke. Uh, thinking and operating across borders. Uh, boy, this is a big deal because everybody's trapped in their initial factory settings as a person because they never became educated and in whatever cultures they happen to have chosen that are in their profession, gender, nationality, the tools that they use, uh, and getting people to operate across these unconscious boundaries is nearly impossible. Uh, you need particular tools and particular practices for doing that, a kind of science of diversity, diversity science, which I've been working for for many years and have, you know, tools and courses for. Educatedness as doing culture work 
Uh, so much of what's innovative and productive in the world is the undoing of unconscious cultural assumptions, in particular persons, images of leadership, nationalities, genders, professions, workplaces, organizations, and leaders. Uh, undoing their unconscious assumptions and getting them to undo their own unconscious assumptions is a great deal of what uh, doing work is in a global world. And the people, it requires deep interiority because changing these uh, initial factory settings that people are in and that their professions and workplaces are in, changing these requires going into your uh, deep unconscious uh, as a self, as a person, and as an organization. And many men uh, don't have the emotional courage and skill, much less tools, or the social uh, courage and skill, much less tools, to do that kind of work. And rather, they flee to maths and little math models like the MBAs that ruined the world finance in 2008, uh, or engineers that are ruining design or not doing design all over the world. Uh, so there are tools for doing this, but first you have to realize that doing culture work is the name of the game in a globalized world. And those people, too... Uh, asocial and a-emotional to get interior are incapable of operating globally and recreating themselves in different contexts. Uh, knowledge format types. There are 21 different ways at least to format the same knowledge and different professions unconsciously prefer different formats for it and so they don't recognize the same knowledge when it comes to at them in a different format. If you I have it in a diagnostic tree format and you have it in a parts of a car format, a parts hierarchy, then you think that I'm ignorant and I think you're ignorant. In fact, we may have the same exact knowledge, just formatted differently as a parts hierarchy versus a diagnostic tree of questions. Um, there are 21s of these knowledge formats. People, uh, it's almost like knowledge cultures. People, people who've, who've mastered all 21 can uh, readily interpret the, the same facts when they're re-expressed in different formats. And this is particularly important for operating across professions without endless meetings and uh, vague compromises that dissatisfy everybody. And uh, then there's 64 ways that organizations learn. I've got a model of them. I presented it in a, presented it in a couple of my books. Uh, uh, at least Managing Complexity has a, almost a chapter on it, uh, one of my oldest books. Uh, 64 ways organizations learn. And... Uh, could learn, <laughs> and then maybe three as the ways your organization actually learns, and 61 that your organization doesn't allow or doesn't use. And then uh, these are also ways individuals learn, <laughs> and you measure people and you discover maybe they're a little better than their organization, which uh, they do 11 instead of three, but that leaves 49 that the, uh, uh, pardon me, 40, 64 minus 11 is uh, 55, uh, I mean, pardon me, uh, 53 that they need to learn. Uh, then replacing interfaces, replacing meetings uh, with uh, scientific rules of order and discussions of stratified responding and processes and classes with uh, mass workshop events and brainstorms of social automata and prose text with fractal page models. Uh, now those uh, things, the capabilities of highly educated people, uh, publishing readings via no regularizations of points, uh, educating people for comprehensiveness via my fractal models and other tools, thinking across boundaries and borders by a new science of diversity, which are some of my books and articles, educatedness is doing culture work, uh, knowledge format types and interpreting among them, uh, 64 ways organizations learn and getting from your five or six favorite ones to the other 60, uh, and replacing these five basic fundamental interfaces in monastic forms of innovation. Uh, these are amplifications of uh, learning institutions and getting them toward educating uh, and uh, making uh, offering something face-to-face -face that is something the internet by itself is not going to be able to outdo you with. 